quite excited tonight because we're here at Jota Motorsport. Sam, what he's set up here is quite phenomenal. Welcome everybody, welcome to Jota. Here in this little building we develop the car and we create what we hope will be a race winning car competing at Le Mans. If you look at the cars, they do a lot of the endurance racing, so the 24 hour Le Mans and the sort of the whole circuits around that. But also they've got a machine shop just across the corner so we can really relate. It's about machining pieces of metal and engineering in the UK, so it's wonderful to see. What Jota are doing here is, is phenomenal and I think everyone will get very much stuck in. We're hoping to get sort of the, the car simulator going, which downstairs race car simulator, which will be a lot of fun as well. I just like the fact that because of where Bramont have coming from and the history behind them and of course it's quite a charitable thing towards Rafa, I thought this was quite a, a special piece. This specific watch didn't have the um, numbered edition on the back, yep. instead it had the initials RAFA. A lot of the clients that uh, we're lucky enough to sort of meet over the years, you find out they are interested in beautifully engineered products, they, they love their boys toys or girls toys or you know they just genuinely love all things mechanical. I managed to speak to Nick, asked him about the, the lettering on the watch yeah. and he was quite amazed to see it. Doing an event here where you've got these incredible cars, I think it's a bit of something for everyone and obviously working bars as well is, is great. So the Armed Forces, the natural, I guess, organic step was working with the Minister of Defence Direct and saying, look, we haven't made mechanical watches probably since the 60s. So as a brand, to be asked to be involved with them designing and coming up with a, a range that you know, Army, Navy and Air Force effectively was quite an honour. And it's something Charles and I really wanted to do. It's a very famous range of watches which came out in the 1940s, which are now sort of collectors call them the Dirty Dozen, where they had a set dial design which the British forces said, look, to number 12 different watch brands build this for us. So we designed a contemporary version of that. Very usable, the price point is great. What I love is, is the fact they're machining parts. They're not bringing things in from abroad, they're machining them right across there and designing them up there, which is very much what we're into as well at Bremel. Our background was basically a love of all things mechanical. This is why I love this place so much. So what we've done at Bremel, it's all about bringing that watchmaking back. It's funny, we would have thought it would be just British people saying that oh, we're very proud of you know, our armed forces, but actually they do very well abroad as well. I think the British military has such an incredible um, reputation. 